Good afternoon, LB. Mark Kowalski, your superintendent, coming to you on Friday, October 7th, on a brisk Friday fall afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Few announcements. First of all, let's talk about Monday, October 10th. Monday is not an in-person learning day for our students. It is a remote learning day. All of our teachers will be participating in professional development on Monday, October 10th. Students, uh, again, that is remote learning day. The assignments for those students will be either sent home with them in paper packets this afternoon, depending on their grade, or loaded in Schoology by this afternoon. Again, it is a remote learning day for our students as our staff is participating in professional development all day. Also where we're at is interim reports are being sent home. Some are going home as a paper copy, others are being loaded in Schoology. So please, if your child does not bring that interim report home with paper today, please check Schoology for that. Um, hard to believe, you know, we're into fall right now, but it's hard to believe we are approaching the end of some of our fall uh, sports seasons. Uh, one actually is over already. And I think it's appropriate to recognize uh, some of these accomplishments so far that our, our teams have done and all the hard work and dedication that they've been at really since June at the end of school. Um, and some of our seasons where, where we start so early that over half of it is over even before we start school um, the Tuesday after Labor Day. So let's go down a list here right now. So first of all, I'd like to recognize our golf team who ended their season yesterday. Our golf team qualified for the district tournament once again, great accomplishment for them. And they were also the BBC runner up uh, this year to Van Buren. So uh, hard to believe that that season is over already. Great job, golf team. Also our girls soccer clinched another league championship. And as they move throughout towards the end of their season in the tournament play, good luck down the road and congratulations on the league championship. Our boys soccer won a league championship last night and congratulations goes out to them as well as they move towards the end of their season into tournament play. Our volleyball team is having a, another highly successful season. They're ranked in the top 10 in division two, moving up a division this year and their tournament draw is on Sunday. So we'll find out who they'll be playing uh, in tournaments uh, coming up as well as girls soccer and boys soccer as well. Cross country, uh, both of our squads, our boys and girls are enjoying fabulous seasons so far and they're looking forward to league meet and then district, regional and hopefully state meet. And our football team is having a uh, very good season right now, big game tonight. So if you get a chance, come on out tonight or to any other the athletic events that are occurring uh, this weekend. And, that, and then we'll have some middle school news for you uh, next week as well. Uh, we re really appreciate all the hard work and dedication by our, by our coaches, our players, our parents, and our school community that really supports um, our athletic program here. One other note I need to draw some attention to is our senior parking spots. So we started this probably about three, four years ago, and it has really morphed into a great great event and uh, unfortunately this year we're not going to be able to do the senior parking spots uh, with the construction project here and um, uh, it's just not going to happen this year and we'll be looking at resuming that we will be resuming that ne next year as our parking lot cures and and uh, the asphalt becomes more palatable for the paint and sealant so uh, with that um, hope everyone has a great weekend. Take the opportunity to go outside, enjoy some of this brisk, brisk weather. And more importantly, as always, go Eagles. Have a great weekend, LB.